Hello! And welcome back to Jackson's YouTube channel. Today we will tackle part 2 of the dress shirt series and concentrate more on the collars. As we all know and should know this is a big distinct part of what makes a shirt stand out. And if you don't, well listen up because after this video you will definitely look at polos differently. So what are the different dress shirt collars styles? Jackson Taylor's dress shirt polo in Mile Long Building May Katie Store has 10 collar styles ranges, each with its distinct specialty. It can outline your personal style, or express the business for the day. As you very well know, every armor, has that simple yet very appropriate variable that will define your objection, target and intent. And before, Filipino suit enthusiasts goes on to disregarding bespoke shirts. Let us help you decide otherwise, as we tell you the stories behind each and every collar style available in our tailor shop in Makati. We did not include the club collar since it is rarely used in Philippine polo designs, although it really is one for the Philippine fashion trend. We start with the classic collar. It is the traditional collar design. To the west this is referred to as the forward or straight point collar which has a tapered look. It certainly provides a more tightened look that keeps the rest of their guys refined and classic. It is best for rounder faces just like the semi-spread collar and usually paired with the simple barrel cuff. Next is the semi-spread collar. Oftentimes mistaken with the classic, because both have two and a quarter collar height. You will barely notice the one quarter inch additional spread or tie space, wherein it allows you to go bare or open collar or tieless. Very flattering for all face shape, because it allows neutral projection. This style is the middle ground design of the classic and the spread collar. Third on our list is the spread collar. Known to the West as a classic English, the linden collar, very old school for the kids, but really it's the old classic way of collar style. Rarely seen in the Philippine business attire ensemble because one slim is in, and Filipinos rarely wear the larger tie knots, even in weddings, as a groom, or the dads, or as a sponsor. But it is the dressiest most distinctive of all collars and we still then and again tip our executive clients to go for this bold look that can demand a masculine presence. With its 3 inch collar points and 6 inches of collar spread that allows at Windsor, Ascot or Cravat to make its point in any occasion. Number 4. The Button Down Collar. The Preppy Look. A more semi-formal polo collar with its practical design credited to the polo players who needed their collars to stay put which the Brooks Brothers immortalized in their products. The weekend shirt that goes well with khakis, a northern gingham texture even in plaid. This used to be a Friday dress down look, but from what we are seeing it has become a more of a junior officer's go to shirt for a more conservative business attire. Fifth is the eyelet collar. The dressier version of the button down collar. This formal collar style holds down the collars with a pin, which is comparable to cufflinks. It is uncommon in the Philippine tailoring scene, but very voguish and purposeful, because it brings the two collar points together and supports the tie knot making it look prominent. Redefine your look with different pins like dumbbell, safety pin or clip style allowing delicacy in pointed collars. We see a lot of eyelet collars moving away from the points into a club collars, rounded ends. Go gold or silver, this collar style is definitely a polished look. 6. The Wing Collar. Arguably a white tie collar design, because it is considerably used for bow ties only, but commonly seen in Philippine black tie events as well with the tux. This collar style has really stiff collar and it's folded out to resemble the wings where it got its name. Has a 2 and 1 8 collar end in front height and 1 and a half rear collar height. It is almost zero spread width and definitely does not need any collar stay. Number 7. Small Wing Collar. Tailored exactly like the wing with only a smaller fold. Number 8. Mandarin Collar. The second, if not the primary go to collar style for the Filipino tailor, which they refer to as the Chinese collar. Popularly used in RTW for sale Barong Tagalog and Makati shops and all over the Metro Manila regions. The younger generation Pinoys prefer this more stylish look to the more traditional dress shirt look of the nine other collar styles. Three quarters inch height all around and like the wing has no collar and spread and definitely does not need any necktie. 
Nehru suit designs have a good say in the promulgation of this style in our Burang Tagalog, because soft linen Indian styles have always been interesting for our Philippine tailors and such trend easily overflowed to the polo designs. 9. Band Collar Tailored exactly like the Mandarin collar with quarter of an inch higher in height. But here is where the confusion begins for most interpretation of Philippine tailoring methods. I am going to go a little technical here so for most readers, you may skip this part. The band collar is 1 inch in height which is basically what most Philippine tailors use for the Chinese collar, it just goes to show how the transition got lost in translation. And lastly number 10. The standing collar. Another version of the Mandarin collar with another inch addition in the height. So thoughts in for the available collar styles of the dress shirt. Now that you know the basics, watch out for our next video about shirts as we tackle about which style fits your face shapes. Call us for a dress shirt, or a good bespoke tailored shirt and feel the difference to your ready to wear shirt. Like us in Facebook, subscribe to our channel and feel free to call us for a sit down today. Visit our website www.jacksonstailors.com Paalam Salamat